It's been raining peacefully all morning, gentle drops raw, uh, falling against the ground, and here I am locked into eternal combat with a runaway Sejong. I did consider stopping and uploading what I had and basically like fishing for uh, feedback from you guys. I imagine a few of you uh, do play Civ 5 on high difficulty and could advise me on the situation. But I'm also interested in like seeing this through myself. I mean, he's snowballing. He, he's been on a roll for a long while. He's still got over double my population. He's got a lot more population than everyone else. Which is more terrifying, too. Like, poor Kathy. Like, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. She has, of course, Napoleon breathing down her neck. She's the one who's so close to Korea. Uh, her and Babylon, that if they could get it on it, if I could just make them, like, beat up on it, beat him up, that would be so great. But I can't, like, <laughs> I can't make it happen. Whenever I started this, I knew this would be a great challenge for me. I'd never organized anything like this before. And although I do beat Deity regularly, uh, I, you know, no city-states, no ruins. I'd have to scrape by. I gave myself an archipelago map to take advantage of what Elizabeth can do. Unfortunately... You can't see my shrug here. I, like, I haven't even bothered to, like, hook that up. Like, two ships of the line. And yeah, I could still buy, like, some iron and try to make it happen. It's just not a whole lot. And Korea, unfortunately, does, you know, he has quite a bit of separation from me. He is halfway across the world. Um. If I get battleships, if I get oil... A big F. I want electricity. I want to get radio. I get radio that takes me to the modern era that allows me to pick up an ideology. I want biology to reveal oil. I want electricity for battleships. I can use battleships to give myself some more cities, probably take down the Celts. They're not the most dangerous. Probably bring Pakal. Hmm. Because pretty stuff. I'll, I mean, he built Red Fort. I'll take down someone. Okay, someone. I'll take someone's capital and try to build myself towards a domination victory and give myself some more science so that I can maybe take down Sejong. Uh, I am very unfamiliar with late game war in Civ 5. Like, most of the stuff that I've done and finished is around the time of, uh, you know, you get battleships and then, you know, I've done, like, some tank stuff before and have a little bit of helicopter gunships. But this stuff is really just, it's all moon speed gibberish to me. Like, I've done stuff with submarines before and nuclear subs. But, you know. I didn't get Brave New World that long ago, and most of my stuff got resolved, like, around the time of Battleships and shortly thereafter. The battleships are pretty amazing. But, because of, uh, this game, <laughs> and all of the events that I put together to challenge myself, the result is that I'm being challenged, and, uh, I'm in over my head. Which makes for pretty entertaining gameplay. But for me, I will say, if only because I'm running around with my pants on my head. Not literally, of course. Trying to figure out how to solve the situation on my own, which is wonderful. I'm glad I was able to create a scenario for myself where I'm not sure how to solve it. Which, uh, is pretty rare for me in this game. I will say. I'm not great at the game, but you don't have to be that great in order to beat Civ 5 on Deity. I punished Alexander five years ago with horses. That fucking asshole. That is my least favorite AI in this game. 
In Civ 4, it's Zhuao. In Surya Varman. In Civ 5, it's not even close. It's Alexander. God! Oh. Hate that motherfucker. My uh, last game of Civ 5 that I played... Uh, I'm not gonna go to the story right now. Suffice to say that he was involved, and I relished eliminating him from the map. And getting a massive warmonger penalty with the other continent that they that we just met, because they didn't understand how much of a dick Alexander had been on my continent. No. No, of course they didn't. We'll uh, be getting Circus Maximus soon. Thank the heavens. I would like to buy a workshop here. There's so many things I need. We might finally someday maybe see a pagoda. Better get it before modern era. Hi. <laughs> we'll see. We'll have some tax dealing happening soon. That's pretty cool. I could use a wide variety of tax. Archaeology will uh, reveal. Uh, uh, <laughs> what if I just see? Not even my Sejong thief. Yes! That was my Boudica Boudica thief. 619. 68 turns, huh? 68 turns. I'm tempted to move to Seoul. Maybe Pyongyang. Yeah, that's for the Pyongyang. I just want to stay away from his capital. It's dangerous there. I know it's dangerous there. I've tried stealing from the capitals of AIs who were in the lead before. And Korea is most assuredly in the lead. Like, don't you fucking think otherwise for one second that the Korea is not in control of this game. I ain't worried about anyone else. That's for sure. Yay, we got a granary there. Yay. We could use an amphitheater. I did want to build an amphitheater somewhere. Hell, maybe I should buy that. How much does that cost? 680. No, I have other things to buy. We'll just build it also. We should fix this. We are unhappy. That'll do. Could use that fish tile. That one. Borders will probably expand to it sometime this century. And no, I'm not really prioritizing a great engineer at all. <sighs> Fucked up here. <sighs> I don't think I was working that because this tile was actually within York's range. Man. 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 That's been there for a bit. Well, mistakes. All I can do is, uh, try to fix them and keep moving. Uh, let's go ahead and mine that. Nope. I ain't giving you anything, especially not with the porcelain tower that he's got. I know it was only open borders. Sejong is plotting against Kathy. Fertilizer. That'll be a big help. Big help. Also, I like I like seeing that happy. That's comforting. I like seeing that happy. Man, that makes me feel good on the inside. To see happiness. It makes me happy to see happiness. What a novel fucking concept. 38 turns. Well, oh, shit. 51 techs, though. He is... He is soaring. I have to stay with him. I ain't leave... There's no city-states. I ain't leaving him. Calls plotting against me. And why wouldn't they? I don't have a fucking army. So, it totally makes perfect sense when they plot against me. I don't have an army. Like, I fucking get it. Like, I still haven't built 
much in the way I still have a warrior and I have a scout. Like, trust me, I get why they want to kill me. I haven't fixed this problem yet. I should probably work on fixing this problem sometime. You know, before they kill me. Because that could happen. Throwing that out there. Monastery? I want to buy a monastery. Meh. <laughs> Meh. I want to buy a workshop there. Well, I'm glad you were promoted. That's good. Please don't have discovered that, Celts. Please don't eat me. Still want to bribe you to do a thing? Please? What if I just, like, sometimes this will happen where... Like... No. Well, I tried. Damn it. That cost too much, Napoleon. I'm sorry! Don't get angry at me, please! No, your prices are too high. Yeah, it's a pleasure seeing you too. There's no... You know... Didn't I bribe someone else to be at war with you? Didn't I make that happen? I'm pretty sure I did. Napoleon? Just fucking surrender 25 gold. Napoleon's like, yeah, sure, I'll fucking take that. You guys are doing a terrible job of fighting each other. You know, you do so much better at fighting each other whenever you're not being recorded. M Moscow is just so weak. Like, I would... L like, she would totally apply herself. But she's the weakest, like, player right now. Like, she's got far more than I have. I'd love to take the money. I'll fucking solve... I'll solve him. Just give me 6,000 gold pieces. I'll fix it. Hell if I know how. No. I swear not to spy on you anymore. Please don't kill me. You're probably gonna kill me. All of my plotting to try and set the AI against each other has just backfired horribly. Ah. Babylon, China, and Russia are the only people who haven't caught me. China is the only person I could realistically try, try, realistically try stealing from. The last time I tried, it kind of bodged. I could put Mr. X inside England. Try to protect against spies there. I'm gonna throw his life away. I'm going to Seoul. I can also use a diplomat as well. I'm trying to like buy, you know, World Congress or sell my World Congress votes. What's coming up uh, in the World Congress? Arts funding. I don't see how. The science EP. Well, we'll see. The AI tends to go after that one. They like that one a lot. Salt to Pakal ended. And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty interested in that. Unfortunately, you're not my friend anymore, Pakal. Kathy's my friend. Wish I had a horse for you, Catherine. I just don't. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I'm terrible at this game. If I had a horse for you, we'd make it right. I get ironworks now. Yay! That won't take forever. <laughs> That's a lady with ironworks. Oh, man. Four turns. Yeah, let's go ahead and grow the city, and then we'll uh, work on some other stuff, I guess. It's nice to have a little bit of excess happiness after all this time. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get to a point where you and I are no longer friends, and I'm back to just being friends with Kathy, and I'm only getting one research agreement. 
And Kathy's not the best person to get a research agreement. What the shit? Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? Mm. Alright, speaking of which, my research agreement video ended. We can get another one straight up. It's great. How many turns? 18 turns. That's no guarantee. I should research radio myself. 20 turns, I get an ideology. And then we can go for biology. And then electronics. Flight wouldn't be bad either. Get battleships. Try to kill Sejong. Maybe try to protect myself. Haven't made use out of my unique units at all. Made a little bit of use out of my unique ability. That's my research agreement with Pakal. That was pretty nice. I won't be able to get that back, though, because we are not friends, and I don't think he wants to be friends with me again. So that's unfortunate. Also, I, uh... noticed that I didn't get a single pop-up for Antiquity Sites. We do have access to two. Their borders. I also noticed that we did not get an aluminum pop-up. Yeah, that's true. There's aluminum there, eight. There's aluminum here, eight, but it's outside of my range to purchase that. I might have to build a city strictly for the aluminum. Like a city here? Probably that city. It'll allow me to work the two antiquity sites. Maybe like a bit closer. No, I wanted to be able to get the aluminum. So a city here would allow me to work the two antiquity sites and it would give me eventual access to the aluminum. Aluminum's pretty important. I guess just get some. So this playthrough is going to give me an opportunity to learn about late game warring. That's nice. 272 beakers, that's far better, but it's turn 305 now. So they kind of needed to be better. Korea is still snowballing, like, away. Like, they're out of my reach. The best chance to slow them is going to be to pulverize Seoul. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet. It probably involves me using, uh... I love how I'm getting a shrine now. It probably involves me... <laughs> I'm never gonna get that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Never gonna get that pagoda. Yeah, I like pagodas, too. Just, uh... Damn. So many little miscues and mental errors. This is good to uh, to be immersed in all this failure. It forces learning. It forces playing better. Civ V encourages such sloppiness over even Civ IV due to the fact that this game is easier than Civ IV. Civ IV is a more intricate and complex game. We are losing friendly trade routes. We still don't have all the trade routes. Uh, perhaps the borders will attempt to pursue the aluminum. I could perhaps encourage that by chopping down the forest there, even though it's uh, four tiles the way. Wow. 16 aluminum? Holy shit. Um... That would... That would take care of all my aluminum needs. This gives me eight, but it gives me the two antiquity sites. That gives me one. Hmm. I could use that extra culture. I am so far away from finishing rationalism. 20 culture per turn on turn 308. Good lord. 
I would, you know, this would be a great example of wanting city-state help. Oh, you made a promise to stop spying on them and then broke it. Yeah, I guess it did. I guess they caught me after all. <laughs> he's gonna kill me. No, he's not gonna kill me. I'm not gonna love him. 17 oil. He's uh, still at war with Babylon to his credit. Everyone else I've tried to put on has just fallen right off. Because they're like, eh, fuck it, he's too far away. I'm not really going to apply myself. Why would I stop the snowballing Koreans from winning the game? That's a terrible idea. Alright, you're going to work towards the fish now. Fantastic. And I'm like, oh. You know you want to stop the snowballing Koreans with 10,000 gold from winning the game? They're like, eh, I don't know, Grimmett. That sounds like a terrible idea. I'm like, oh. No! No! Why am I not signing a research agreement with Korea, you might ask? You know, that's actually worth showing. In case you're unfamiliar with Korea. Let's go see Korea. Plus two science for all specialists and for all great percentile improvements. Receive a tech bonus boost each time a scientific building or wonder is built in the Korean capital. Well, Grimmith! Like, you know, that's not so bad, right? No, no, hold on. They also built the porcelain tower. Gas porcelain. Now make a tower out of it. Plus 50% more science generated from research agreements. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Just can't, I can't tolerate that, guys. Not gonna be able to do it. Amphitheater. And build a public school. Uh, I would like to work these slots. I don't have enough population. This is terrible. I need to finish that ironworks. I need so many things. Population 15 on turn 311. This is terrible. Uh, I need a university to hell with the aqueduct. I don't really care about extra growth because I still don't have the happiness to support it. Looks like I'm going to be the second person to get an ideology, though. I'm probably going to go order. I could make really great use out of order. I do like order. Okay, good. Like, that is still technically within range of London. Hey. 23 turns. It's a pity you can't buy archaeologists. Let's go to Babylon, so that whenever we fight Babylon again, we can die. The big tourism people haven't, uh, gotten around to selecting an ideology yet. The Mayans are the scariest. They'll go freedom or autocracy. I'd expect freedom out of them. Maybe they'll go first and pick order. I would love an early tenant, and I'll definitely be going order, which would put me possibly friendly with Korea, except for the fact that I broke a promise to stop spying on them, as they are the obscene tech leader. But uh, if I actually got the happiness from uh, the monument thing, I could finally finally start kind of growing these cities. My growth has been so stymied. As expected, York is just as fucking big. And I did think at one point I would put a guild here. The problem is that York has no fucking production. Excuse me, it has 11 hammers. My apologies. I exaggerate a little. Let's buy that. I know I wanted to buy the... Uh, Workshop? No, I already bought that. That's how I'm building the ironworks. Never mind. I am the dumb. Whew. How the hell am I going to get up? That's cool. The Celts, they have adopted the freedom. The freedom. Freedom isn't free. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. Okay. Keep going. Hello, train. How's it going? How the hell are you doing? Not surprised. I've seen the Celts go freedom plenty of times. 
Okay, that went in my borders too. I could totally make use out of uh, two archaeologists. Twelve turns. Three hundred hammers. Ugh. I could really use them though. And then a settler for the aluminum? I'm not in an immediate hurry for the aluminum. I guess. I guess. Choo choo! I don't generate enough science to do much of anything. I'm, uh, I know it's turn 317. I don't really advocate building these things by this point. But I'll slap another one down. I'll slap another one down. Pretty far into this whole thing. And been recruited as a spy? Neat. The Koreans have another nice city? I mean, it only has nine. But fuck it. Send her there too. All the Korean cities. Meanwhile, the AIs plot to kill me because it makes perfect sense. It really does. I'm uh, kind of surprised they haven't done it already. <laughs> Please don't eat me. I'm too beautiful with my one warrior and my scout. I'm so vulnerable here and helpless. You don't want to destroy me. I'm cute and cuddly. I'm so cuddly. Cuddle with me. Yes, makeshift alliance. Korea has denounced the Celts because uh, that's how ideologies work, kids. I'm going to choose order. And you know what the hell I'm picking? Happiness, happiness. Finally, we can let her hair down. Finally. And grow these cities? Yay! It's turn 318 and we can grow our cities. Happy days. These are the best days. Yeah! I'll totally keep being friendly with Korea. Except for the part where I broke a promise. When you break a promise, guys, it's... Now why did I make the promise? Because basically if I told them I will not stop spying... It's pretty much... This, they, they get really upset about that too. But, you know... I kind of value their tech and... Well, of course we value their tech. It's gonna take me forever to get that damn pagoda. <laughs> To think of all the effort I put into building those shrines, all those hammers, and I will not see one pagoda out of them. That's uh, an interesting conundrum I've gotten myself into. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh well. Let's go ahead and build a trading post there. I would like to get those archaeologists. That'll be easier to do. No, I did kind of. Whatever. Fucked it up a little. Mm, no. I'd like to trade that with Russia. Hmm, now, like all these little pop ups are saying, it's interesting. Whatever interface. Ah, damn. Okay, like 3,000 science. That's more than 3,000 science. All those turns... <sighs> it's still worth more. Get it. Mistake on my part. Mistake on my part. <laughs> that ain't happening. Uh, I tell you what. I mean, that's that's really cute that I'm trying. Just just go to London. Sit there in London and 
Nine populations, a bit too small. Sure, Sejong. Plot against her. So, oil. I didn't hear anything about oil either. Ah. Uh, no oil means no battle cruisers. Fuck! Is there. Fuck! 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 Oh, fuck! I mean, we got coal! No oil means no battleships, though. I have to settle a city for oil. And I'd only have four. Four battleships. That's not good enough to... <sighs> Look at how high these defenses are. They have artillery as well! Not even remotely close to attacking. Well, shit. We'll worry about that when we get to it, I guess. This shit just got even harder. How the hell am I gonna do this? I don't know, but I'm glad you're here to help me. Yeah, greetings, comrade. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure she is. She looked over at me and said, well, now you're a different ideology than me. So now we really can't be friends. You leave it for you. Hey! Damn it. God, I want you to declare war on him so bad. Why won't you give me the things I want? Why won't I work that tile? I got it for a reason. <laughs> Why won't baby Jesus love you? Okay. Yeah. Well, I could finally build a granary, I guess. <laughs> Musicians Guild? I think I want a Musicians Guild there. Probably shouldn't have built uh, as many guild here as I did, but I discussed why I did. There was a lack of production in this city. Well, it's finally got some sort of okay-ish production. I can finally start on this. Just so late to start working on these. Better late than never, and I can't let go of these slots. I don't want to let go of the production. I want these archaeologists for the culture. I'm only getting 21 culture per turn. It's awful. Like, is there even any a point? To, like, by the time I'm getting this, I'm only getting one. Like, I'd be better off just investing in this. I would be. Like, I do like the finisher. Hmm, it would be more useful for me. Workshops? I do want to keep growing. And then factories, because I'll keep eventually building those. I need the happiness tenants. Wow. I can't believe I'm throwing away uh, a rationalism finisher. But I only have one research agreement coming up. I only have one declaration of French. Well, I technically have two. But I'm not getting one with him. For reasons that I've already been thoroughly discussed. He is kind of the... He is the enemy. We are keeping uh, technologically par with uh, France. And they're number two. Which makes us number two. Korea's got a lead on all of us. 113 population. Definitely more than anyone else. And with all the extra signs they get. Plus the porcelain tower. I bet they got the rationalism finisher. No rationalism three. Ah, goodness. I'd like to propose international games. 
I don't think I'll be able to get another proposal at this. All right, arts funding. I, I'm almost tempted to say yes, <laughs> but I don't want it. She's already gonna dislike me the way it is, even though I voted her in office. I just no. Let's just vote for this. If it happens, it happens. It'll slow me down, but it'll slow down everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he said, chuckling nervously, knowing in his heart that it wasn't true. All right, I'm gonna end this soft best here. <laughs>